One of the functions in the sector packs that will speed up the reading process is called anatomical linking. With this tool you will synchronize the same position in current and prior examinations, even though the images come from different modalities or have different slice thickness. I will now show you how it works. So here we have a thorax case with several lung nodules. And this is the current examination, and here we ha you have the prior. If I want to find this lesion, this, this uh, lung nodule, in the current examination, I can do that by just press a shortcut key, and thanks to the anatomical linking, it will find the same position in the current examination. So, if I scroll down, the both current and prior will stay synchronized. For a thorax case like this, you might want to have a, a thick MIP instead of the thin slices. You can do that by, with a shortcut key. You can toggle between thin MIP and normal 2D. If I want to look at the NPR view instead, I want to look at the coronary view. I can open the NPR view and press C. It will automatically jump to the coronary view. The anatomical linking works between the NPR view and the 2D view. I can create an NPR here as well and have the sagittal view. So this is how you can use an anatomical linking. It works with 2D images and works with the NPR and NPR as well. So what about different modalities? Can we do that as well? The answer to that is yes. I need to change patient. So this is an MR neuro case. Above you have the current examination and below you have the prior. And if I scroll down here you can see it's synchronizing, and if I move my crosshair, it finds the same position in the current and prior, even though we have different time points. So, if I want to look at the CT as well, I can do that. I open my thumbnail view. So even when we have a CT and MR, the anatomical linking works as well. Okay, this was a really short overview over the anatomical linking. Thank you for listening.